Hello my friends and happy Friday and welcome to Vlogmas day 23 and happy Christmas Eve Eve. I hope you're all having a lovely day. We are back in the sewing room trying desperately to get my Christmas dress finished. I just have a couple of more steps to go and then it's done. I mean if I really push it I should be able to get it finished tonight but at the same time I can get it to a point where I can just hem it tomorrow but you know we're on our way we're almost there am I gonna do it so I have the skirt part here that I did last night and you can't see it on the camera but it's got pockets on the side and I'm very happy with how they worked out they do need a bit more of a precise type press but I'm happy so today I have to stitch some gathering stitches at the top of the skirt to gather it in to then sort of have it gathered underneath the bust and then once that's gathered we sew it to the bodice which is oh, you can't see it it's on uh, my mannequin sew them together and then hem it and then it's done but then I do also have to do those little ties for the straps but that's something we're not worrying about at the moment <laughs> so let's get into it let's get this done gathering and it was actually a lot so like simpler and easier than what I thought it was gonna be what I had to do is sort of like mark it off in like quarter bits so I had two pins in the side seams and then two seams in the center front and back and then I sort of gathered it in quarter sort of sections and yeah it's sort of come together in a very dangerous pinned up sort of um, thing to now sew together so I'm pretty sure I've done it right that like the bodice and the skirt are on correctly so that when I sew it it will all come out correctly I mean we're not gonna know until we sew it and pull it out so let's Okay, my friends here is the second try on and this is what the dress looks like I know it's really hard to see because it's so dark in here but it fits really nicely it's very comfortable I'm definitely gonna have to change like the bra situation I'm not really wearing the right one for it but it's a perfect length I still got my pants on love the pockets and yeah it hangs really nicely it's almost like a really sweet baby doll like dress I really like it so once we sort of like fine-tune everything um, to hem and finish seams and you know obviously wear the right things underneath it's gonna look really sweet I love it what do you think puppy so yeah happy so far happy days yes friends happy news the dress is officially finished I just spent some time doing the hem and you know I really don't like doing hems no matter how much time I spend on getting them like perfect using my little ruler gauge here it always seems to come out wonky but I think the hem on this dress is pretty close it's not perfect but I think I got it pretty even I've done worse jobs so I'm happy with that but now I'm just moving the last of the gather stitch that didn't make it into the seam allowance so I had to sew three gathering stitches on both the front and the back and only two of those gathering stitches go in the seam and then the other one you unpick and remove so that's what I'm doing now and then once I've removed all of these unwanted stitches all I have to do is the little bows on the shoulders if I choose to do that. I'm not sure. I think I will do it, but I'm not going to do it tonight. If I get time tomorrow in and amongst my <laughs> busy schedule of 
Christmas Eve tasks, then I will do it. But it's not a big thing if I don't, I think. So my review of the pattern that I've used, which is the Tilly and the Buttons Sky Dress. I really like it. It is a very simple dress when you really look at it. I think the most complicated bit was just doing the binding. It wasn't so much complicated but just fiddly. I already knew how to insert this kind of binding but I think for someone who hasn't done it before it might take you a little bit longer to get the hang of it but it's quite simple once you know what you're doing. It's just fiddly. But I'm really happy with the fit of the dress. It feels really comfortable on. It sits really nicely under my bust. It's nice and roomy. It's got pockets. You want to know how much I love a pocket. And I just love how like floaty and and I don't know and nice it is. It reminds me very much of like a baby doll dress. I'm very excited to wear it on Christmas Day. Possibly Boxing Day as well. At the moment Christmas Day and Boxing Day are looking to be quite warm days here in Australia. So I will definitely be very comfortable in this dress. I have actually bought some fabric to do the maxi length version of this dress because I don't really have a nice sort of maxi dress in my collection, especially ones for like just really hot summer days where you just want to be all swishy and cool. So I'm going to make this dress again but in a really nice lightweight poplin. It's a bit of a crazy print but I like it, but I'll definitely show you the dress once I've finished it. It won't be until the new year, but I'm definitely excited to to make another one but in a different length. Almost there. Okay, so I have my two strips here for my two uh, shoulder bows. So I'll sew them up tomorrow. I'm sure I'll find some time in the evening, I think, and then attach them to the dress and then it will be like officially finished after I give it a press, of course. Okay, my friends, it is that time of the day where we're going to do Advent. Let's do labels first because I picked it up first. We've only got a couple more days left. I think it's like two more days. Yeah. Oh my goodness, we've only got two more days to open. Door number two is a fine little chandelier. I don't really know what it has to do with sewing, but okay, cool. Let's see what we've got underneath here. Oh, I love these labels. They're fun. Sniff of approval from the dog. Yep. Okay. How cool are they from the stash? I love it. These will be really great for quilt labels as well to stick under the binding because a lot of my quilts are made from the stash. Love the colours as well. Very modern, very fresh. In the tin they go. The tin is looking very full and we've only got one more day to fill it with. <gasps> Exciting times. Let's do our fabric advent. Let's discover another lovely haberdashery item. I'm going to give you a peek of the fabric bundle today. We've got our beautiful fabric bundle that we've been opening. And then our last two haberdashery items have been the needles and the pearl cotton. And so today we are opening oh, number 23 and it's a big one. I wouldn't even know where to start guessing what is in this. But, you know, let's have a look. Let's not fuck about. Let's see what's in here. Oh, let's pick the dog's interest. It's not food. What is it, puppy? Oh. oh, that is interesting. It is handmade quilt binding made so lovingly by Claire at the Stitch Saloon. That's great. You know, this is, I would totally choose this as a binding. I mean, we do have this fabric in our bundle. And I've actually used this as a binding in my little create wall hanging. So that's perfect. I love it. It's really like becoming a whole like collective of stuff to make a quilt and I love that. That's so clever. On our little thing here we've got approximately 7.3 meters which is suitable for a 70 by 70 inch quilt. That's a pretty big quilt. So that's very handy. Isn't it puppy? Have a sniff. All right, Charlie gives it the sniff of approval. Good boy. Here he is, just staring at me. Oh, okay. All right, he's going to go to sleep now. He's like, nope, the camera's on me. See you later. Well, I am very happy with that. I love a good stripe binding. That's so wonderful. And we've only got one more to open tomorrow. 
and then it's done. Can't believe it. Where has the time gone? Thank you all very much for joining me today, as always. Hope you're all having a lovely Friday and a lovely Christmas Eve Eve and are getting everything that you need done for the weekend. We are hopefully going to have a good weekend. There is a very, 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 very high chance that Graham will come home from hospital tomorrow. So we will have him home for Christmas and his birthday on Monday. But again, thank you all so much for your lovely well wishes. It really does mean a lot. So until I see you all again tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 24, Christmas Eve, I wish you all a very lovely day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.